Breaking news in Durham, a man is dead and another has serious injuries because of an early morning shooting. This happened on Ledham Street just after midnight, and this is the same area where another man was shot less than a day ago. Let's bring in WRL's Laura Levine. She joins us live from that scene there. And Laura, in the past 20 minutes, you have some new information. We're talking about an expansion of a scene. Why is that? <laughs> Uh, Chris, we continue to be moved back and pushed back now because more crime see scene tape is coming up. I can tell you within the past five minutes, we've had to push back even further, and that's because officers continue to find evidence. Now, my photographer and I, Charles Bradley, was parked in this parking lot. We decided to move our car to get a little bit closer to the scene, and that's when a neighbor discovered a magazine that was right next to where we were parked. Uh, officers responded, and then they had to put up more tape because now this has become another part of the crime. I'm seeing. Then to, to the right of me, which you can't see, um, in the other parking lot, they have discovered more bullets scattered across the parking lot. I mean, several of them here um, on, near the Lead Mine Street area of this apartment complex. I also just spoke with a man who lives in this apartment complex, and he tells me he saw the entire thing unfold. He saw the two people shooting at each other. He also tells me he saw uh, Durham police take someone into custody. This morning, we were working to to confirm that if they are searching for any more suspects at this time. But again, as you mentioned, uh, this is the second shooting in less than two days here on Sunday night. Durham police also responded to a shooting on the same block. They found a man who had been shot and he was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. As far as the shooting that happened here this morning, we know that one man is dead, the other in the hospital with life-threatening serious injuries. So, so much to work to uncover here. So many uh, questions we're working to get answered. We'll be sure to keep you updated. Laura Levine, WRL News, live in Durham.